Mummy Math, an adventure in geometry. Written by Cindy Nushwander, illustrated by Brian Langdo. Woohoo! cheered Matt Zills. We're going to Egypt! I want to explore pyramids and see mummies. I'm going to learn how to read hieroglyphics so I can unlock the mysteries of the tomb, said his twin sister Bibby. Matt and Bibby's parents were famous scientists. Their family had been invited to Egypt to help find the mummy of an ancient pharaoh. Dr. Zagazig, the archaeologist, greeted them when they arrived at the site. The pyramid was magnificent. This tomb is a complete mystery, said Dr. Zagazig. We can't find the burial chamber anywhere. So the secrets of the pharaoh still await us, said Dr. Zills eagerly. Let's go. Matt, Bibby, and their dog Riley crawled through the tiny opening first. Thump! A secret door suddenly closed behind them. Help! yelled Matt. We're locked in, and they're locked out. What should we do? wondered Bibby. Let's go find the mummy. What else can we do? said Matt bravely. The walls of the tomb were covered with colorful hieroglyphics. What do they say? asked Matt. Bibby read slowly. This king was called the Pharaoh with many faces. He built the most complicated Egyptian pyramid ever. Wow, said Matt. Where's a tour guide when you need one? Look at all these geometric solids, said Bibby, ignoring Matt's joke. Cones, spheres, cubes, cylinders, pyramids, tetrahedrons, and rectangle and triangle prisms. I wonder what they mean, said Matt. Here's a mysterious message, cried Bibby. It says there are many faces inside this pyramid that can guide you to me. Follow me. Matt, this is a clue to finding the pharaoh. Where do we start? There's a lot of faces on this wall, said Matt. He was looking at a painting of some ancient Egyptians. They're all pointing left. Let's go that way. At that moment, Raleigh snuffled loudly and ran off into the darkness. He's just chasing cat mummies, joked Bibby. He'll come back. Matt and Bibby turned left. Suddenly, the ground opened under them. Whoosh! They slid down a narrow shaft and landed in a small empty room. Ouch! said Matt, brushing himself off. This place gives me the creeps, added Bibby. This'll cheer you up, said Matt. What's a mummy's favorite music? I give up, said his sister. Rap music. Matt, your corny jokes aren't helping us to find the pharaoh. Or the way out. Face it, Bibby, said Matt. We're totally lost. Face it. That's it, Bibby said excitedly. That's what the pharaoh meant. Matt was confused. If you think about faces, what do you think of? Asked Bibby. People, said Matt. And maybe mummies too. What else has a face? Remember that first picture? cried Bibby. The flat sides of a geometric solid are called faces. A cylinder has two round faces, a tetrahedron has four triangular faces, and a cube has six square faces. So the pharaoh's clues are the faces of solid shapes, said Matt, not people's faces. The twins walked up a steep corridor. Here's another clue, said Bibby. A single face shows the way. This painting showed a mason cutting a large block of limestone. But that block is a rectangular prism, said Bibby. It has six faces. That's five faces too many. The guy shaping the stone looks like he's holding an ice cream cone, Max giggled. That's the mallet they used to chip away the rock, explained Bibby. But the top part is a cone shaped. A cone has a single face. Let's follow it. Cone's face was pointing up, so Matt and Bibby scaled the high wall. On a ledge at the top sat a single round stone. That looks like an ancient Egyptian baseball, said Matt. Workers use rocks like this to hammer out tunnels in the pyramids, said Bibby. It's a sphere, but a sphere doesn't have any faces we can follow. Still, the only way to go is through this tunnel, said Matt, pointing to an opening in the rock. 
They squeezed through the narrow space and inched along until they reached a wider area. They were dazzled by what they saw. Wow, is this the burial chamber? asked Matt. No, said Bibby. I think this is the antechamber. It's the room that leads to the burial chamber. It holds everything the pharaoh might need in his next life. There are lots of things here I wouldn't mind having in my present life, said Matt, except for this 4,000 year old bread. They found the next clue on a piece of papyrus. Look for six identical faces, it said. A cube, guessed Matt. Maybe this is it, said Bibby. She held her breath and lifted the lid of a carved wooden box. Matt laughed. It's clean underwear for the pharaoh. I guess he'd need that in his next life, Bibby giggled. A second cube-shaped box held the clue they were searching for. It led Matt and Bibby into a room with three gigantic granite towers. The first one was a cylinder with a cone perched on top. The second tower was a five-faced triangular prism with a tetrahedron on it. The third one was a pyramid on top of a rectangular prism. At the foot of each tower was a closed door. Is the pharaoh behind door number one, door number two, or door number three? asked Matt, bowing and waving at each one. Get serious, said Bibby. The clue in the box told us to enter under the five faces. There had also been a warning. Choose carefully, lest you lose your way forever. I choose door number three, said Matt. That pyramid has four triangular faces and a square base. That makes five faces in all. He started to open the door. Wait, yelled Bibby. She yanked her brother back. The pyramid does have five faces, but it's resting on the top face of the rectangular prism. That makes six faces we would walk under. I think number two is the right door. The tetrahedron has four faces and it's sitting on one face of the triangular prism. That makes five. Let's go! Suddenly, they heard a muffled, mysterious shuffling sound. What's that? whispered Bibby. Matt shivered. A real live mummy. They hurried through the second door, the burial chamber at last. Two rectangular coffins sat on the floor. The shuffling sound was growing louder. Something had followed them. Let's find this pharaoh and get out of here, said Matt nervously. Bibby and Matt tiptoed towards the two dimly lit shapes. The shuffling sound began snuffling and then howling. Ah! screamed the twins, diving behind the nearest coffin. Bibby peeked around the side. Riley! she cried. You big furry goofball, you scared us. Riley was standing by the other coffin. Matt opened the lid and looked inside. He found his cats, he exclaimed. Bibby looked too. I'll bet these mummies were the pharaoh's favorite pets. Then they opened the first coffin. The pharaoh's golden burial mask twinkled up at them. This is the last of the pharaoh's many faces, said Matt. But not the last of his help, Bibby pointed out. There's a map on the coffin lid to show us the way out of this five-faced mountain of stone. Matt grinned. Awesome! Let's go and report back to Dad and Mummy.